What's up, people? We are back with Cyanogen Mod 11 on our Moto E with Android L theme on top of it. As you can see from this lock screen, we have five shortcuts to get in. And from the right, we have the access to the camera. And at the left, as you might know in stock, we have a whole lot of um, widgets to add on. And since it's Android L theme, the navigation bar and the status bar icons and all the icon packs would look much similar to the Android L but don't mistake me this is just the Android L theme now this is the notification panel and at the right side we have the toggles uh, you might see a whole lot of toggles out there just because it's ROM we have some cool features like the expanded desktop which is quite similar to the immersive mode and swiping it down again we get the status bar and similarly we have a whole lot of toggles we have a direct access to the camera from the status bar so no need to fuss around to find your camera app to open it up and just by swiping the footer of the status bar we can switch between the panels we have a cool feature of setting the performance profile as for the basis of your own use and so we have balanced power saver and performance auto rotation directly on your toggles you don't have to go to settings again and again to switch on any of those toggle switches now even in the volume panel we just don't have that we have the whole three uh, control to the volume now let's check out the quick settings we have got uh, everything is just neat I must say and since this is Android L theme on top of it this is not how the cyanogen mod looks like but let's check around with the settings okay so we have the lock screen out there you can pretty much adjust the screen security and customize your lock screen here's the slider shortcuts this is a small bug because the white background is merging with the shortcuts and we have themes as i said i'm running on android l theme on top of this cyanogen mod let's get back to the default hollow theme and to do that just by selecting it and we have to select the packages that you want and then just hit update at the bottom and this will apply the settings and bring us the default cyanogen mod so this pretty much looks like the stock ROM which you have the PR stock ROM as you can see but with a lot of settings and whole bunch of performance tweaks to this so this is cyanogen mod and may you must know that this is just an unofficial build by a dave called percy g2 and uh, the cyanogen mod right now i'm running is 11 and in nightlies the latest nightlies as you might know that we also have snapshots and release candidates we have a quick search button out there so one of its components let's search about performance and uh, it should directly take us to the performance tweak by hitting the performance button so this is quite easy for those who want to explore the settings completely we also get the two different run times that is the dalvik and art i prefer dalvik so i have selected it and it's your wish to go to art or stay in dalvik so we have a whole lot of personalization out there we'll be checking it out pretty soon after checking the home screen this is the home screen much looks like the google now launcher but it's not this is the cyanogen mods official launcher and this is the stock status bar how it looks like so let's take a quick tour around the cyanogen mods personalization section what it offers us so we have the notification drawers here you can add on a lot of notification drawers tweaks over here we have the status bar settings you can customize the status bar in this section and like i said notification drawer and we have the lock screen over here now you can see the slider shortcuts as everything is visible and you can add your own custom apps on your lock screen and uh, going advanced with the display and lights we have the expanded desktop option and on the advanced settings you have double tap to sleep so that's actually the option for lock screen and you we also get a crd animation like you can see the beam that crosses the screen and the buttons you can actually change your customize your navigation buttons out there or even add or remove quite a lot of navigation buttons so 
the best feature of that is adding the tiles and layouts you can either swap between the positions of your toggles or add new toggles or you shall even remove toggles as you want as the white glowing birdings are the toggles that can be added right now and that is pretty much it about the Cyanogen Mod 11 to stay tuned subscribe to the channel to watch more such reviews and I'll talk to you guys in the next one